Best performance or best live act? It's songwriting. It's a craft, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah, it's different. In What's what it? way? It's just different. You know the you know the rest. Well, I can't. You know, I'm not that eloquent. The room is full of legendary songwriters. Dan. Yeah. Are there some people you've picked out that you want to go and chat to later? Uh, yeah, I'd love to go and meet Quincy Jones. I'll go and find Mick Jones. I was really chuffed to see him here. He's. I love Mick Jones. He's a legend. Um, yes. So yeah, I'm sure there's loads of people who I don't even know are here. I'd love to go and talk to. What would you talk to Quincy about? About his songwriting or just a general chat? So I'd ask him how he was first. He's just the way forward, I'm sure. Manners and all that. How proud are you of the, of the song Rehab? Uh, yeah, I'm very, uh, very proud that I could get something good out of something that well, you know, wasn't a high point. Why, why, was, why, why do you feel so good about it? It is a Uh You know, it's obviously, you know, it's very flattering and. Uh, uh, you know, you're standing on this young lady's foot. Have you noticed that? She's not young and I wasn't. Amy, so many songs come out of bad times in life. Can you hear him? Rude. <laughs> you were. Amy, so many songs come out of bad times in life. The creative process is often motivated by the bad times. Now you're a happily married woman. You worried how that could impact on your career? No, not, not really. I've got to go back down, I'm saying. Is your next album going to be happy now, now that you're on happier times? Do you think it will inspire? Yeah, we'll see. Thanks, Amy. Could you tell me, how long did it take you to write Rehab and what was the inspiration for the show? I, mean, I wrote Rehab in about 20 minutes um, and uh, it was just, um, I wrote it about something that something that had happened to me. It was just, it wrote itself, it's just a novelty song in it, but it's true, it's something that happened to me. And I guess it pretty much wrote itself. They say the best songs are born of kind of um, disruptive relationships. Today, a happily married woman, what can we expect from your songwriting-wise? Uh, uh, happy uh, songs? Yeah, yeah, happy songs. Care Bears, <laughs> theme tunes. Hey, well, your dad said he was sad he didn't walk you down the aisle. Are you going to have another do here in England? No, I definitely will. Definitely do something proper. Was definitely. he angry with you? Was he OK? No, he's fine, he's fine. What's he going to do? How important, how important to you that the songwriters are actually acknowledged for their work and not just performers and emphasis on sales? It's very important and to be honest, something like this, you know, uh, in the moment I'm not very eloquent, but really it is a very, very, uh, you know, it's, it's such a prestigious thing. It really is a prestigious thing and, uh, you know, it's important that songwriters and, you know, you know, it's important to get acknowledged for things other than, you know, what's necessarily seen, do you know what I mean? Just touched down from America, what do you plan now, Amy? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, uh, I'm going to go and find my fella. Uh, and uh, don't know, have the girls around tonight, I don't know. Where are you going to be all the summer, what festivals and stuff, where we'll see you? As mentioned with you working with Prince, is that definitely I'm gonna, that? Uh, No, I don't know, I hope so. Um, yeah, I'm doing, doing all the festivals, doing Whitley Bay. Whitley Bay! <laughs> Time's up, people. We've got to go back down. Thank, Thank you very much. Congratulations.